Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to use BugPoc to build a live demo to prove an insecure direct object reference bug. This type of bug usually only takes a single HTTP request to exploit, however you'll need to know where to insert the dynamic portions of the request. Before BugPoc, that usually means annotating a screenshot of Burp Suite and walking the triager through the steps to get there organically. But with BugPoc, it just takes a few clicks to build the POC and all tooling and setup is taken care of for you. As you can see, I have the target website open in Firefox and Burp Suite open to capture the HTTP traffic. If we fill out this form, we will see the API request and response go through Burp. In this example, the vulnerable endpoint is the API to Get Profile. This website apparently uses a custom header called xbwauth as its authentication mechanism, and this endpoint uses the URL parameter uuid to know which profile to get. If we send this request to the burp repeater, we can take a closer look at how this API will respond to malformed parameters. Repeating the request with an invalid auth token produces an error as expected. This confirms that the API performs authentication correctly. However, it appears that changing the UUID actually steals a different customer's secret profile. This indicates that the API does not perform authorization correctly. Altering the UUID parameter allowed us to directly reference a different object, thus this is indeed an IDOR bug. To turn this bug into a live demo, we just right-click the request and click Send to BugPoc. You can see that BugPoc stores this HTTP request and clicking Test will repeat it from the browser without using Burp. You can think of this editor as an online version of the Burp Suite repeater. To indicate which portions of this request are dynamic, we need to parameterize the UUID and auth token. That's as simple as highlighting them and just clicking the Add Parameter button, which surrounds the highlighted strings with section signs. Next, we enter the variable names and descriptions so the POC viewer will know exactly how to run this demo. Lastly, we fill out the bug title, bug description, and POC description. We are now ready to publish this POC so anybody can reproduce it, without any fancy pen testing tools or knowledge of HTTP syntax. We can just include this link in our bug report and not worry about teaching triagers or software developers how to install pen test tools. And just like that, our bug report can contain a live demo. That means you get triaged faster and the issue gets fixed much sooner. Check out our other videos to see other useful bug pock examples.